Hello there guys, welcome back to the E-Bike Repairs YouTube channel. Uh, I've got in a Furo Systems uh, scooter here. Well, this is just the wheel, the scooter's obviously not attached to it. Um, but the cable has been smooshed. As you can see, it's not meant to look like that. Uh, so I'm going to be replacing the cable and uh, I think the green hall sensor is also dead. So I'll do a hall sensor replacement at the same time. Um, once it's off the bike, it's fairly simple. You've got to pull this lot out of the inside of the bike um, and then the opening looks to be on this side so we'll have to take off the brake disc which is a 4mm allen one two three four which one's going to get stuck be the last one won't it five Wow, that never works. There's six of those. So there's our brake disc. We can get rid of that. There are uh, there on this particular. I've got no idea how much messing's been done with this one, but there's uh, a large bog standard uh, nut there. So I think it's 18 mil. Uh, we've got our washer with a little tongue on it, and we've got another washer here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, they look to be four mil Allen heads. And they are little, what are that size, M4, M5, something like that, Allen head screws. Okay, so to get this next part off, I'm going to whack that end. So then I'm going to get the uh, axle nut level with the end of the axle. And I'm going to whack this end on the desk. And now you can get to the side cover, which is super handy. Go a bit further. Oh, it's going to be attached. Well... I have to come off. Is that and that? Oh, look at that. I don't even need to take it out that far. Beautiful. I don't know if this rim actually splits in half. I've also got to replace the inner tube while I'm here. The rim splits in half, that'll make it easier, won't it? But uh, does it split? I don't think it does. It's a shame. To be a solid piece. Yeah, I don't think it splits. Oh, well, I'll address the inner tube later. So, the windings are quite coloured. They're not the shiny, sort of cherry red that we want them to be, but functional nonetheless. Um, we've got our yellow hall, black, green, red, and blue here. There's no speed sensor, three hall sensors. It's the green one that's playing up, so that'll be that one in the middle there. Um, it looks fairly straightforward. Ah, one of my cutters are on the floor for some reason. It is all looking a little bit blackened in here, but... It is what it is. Like that cable tie is not meant to look that crispy. Surely. Okay, so. Looks nice and loose. Good. Yeah, even the. Uh, well, it's all got a bit hot. I suspect it's been ridden in its uh, damaged state to try and be like forced home, and it's, it's done a bit of charring, I can see. Some scorch marks on here. And all the uh, cables are a bit stuck together here. There we go. Let's freed them up anyway. One, two, three. <coughs> right. Uh, so, soldering on, I'm just going to remove these here. Crispy, isn't it? 
and I'm probably just going to cut these so that I remember which colour goes to what. And then we can have the old cable out. Ta da! Just like that. It's the old one, you see the damage on it was. It's obviously been just. It's had a bit of an unhappy time. Um, the old cable outer is stuck in here. I'll need removing. Get that. Oh, well, that's falling there. There's the outer sleeve. Uh, and then the new cable. To go into there. Push that in there. Oh, how's that for you? That's never that easy. Wow. Look at that. Today's going to be a good day. Oh, yeah, you can really see the charring here now. But that's all very blackened around there. It's obviously meant to be this colour. Same story here and, and here. It's obviously got quite hot. Shoulder seems intact, though. Yeah, all looks intact inside there anyway, so probably just let, let that be and uh, not disturb it, I think, that's what I'm going to do. Don't poke the bear and all that. So, instead of dealing with those solder joints there, I'm going to just solder onto here, here and here. Because where they've got hot, I'm pretty sure the the wires is not going to take well to uh, to fresh solder. It's just going to cause me grief trying to do it. If it hadn't got that hot, I would happily uh, you know consider replacing it all the way down to there. But I don't think it's a good idea in this case. I think I'll struggle to get it to uh, to work properly. So, I'm going to do, you know, green to green, yellow to yellow, uh, blue to blue, and then the halls are going to go back on, uh, negative, yellow, green, red, and that must have been uh, blue there. And then the hall sensor I'll have to replace, because uh, I'm pretty sure it's knackered, uh, will be a case of heating that up, pulling on it, probably won't work, and I'll have to leave it out, scrape the bits out. I've done it in loads of other videos, um, but yeah, <coughs> shouldn't be anything too impossible to do. And then obviously reassembly is the reverse of removal, so you put all this back on over the cable as it was. I think it should all just fit straight through everything because uh, there aren't any ends on it. Bearing in here, 6003RS on this side cover. You can see that. Um, yeah, should be fairly straightforward. I'm not going to bother filming it because it's really not that exciting. Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite obvious, you know, what he's doing. Bit of soldering, put it back together, job done, um, and then I'll replace the inner tube. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Like, comment, share, subscribe, YouTube things, and uh, yeah, bye bye.